happier times here on the south side after the Steelers do get their home opening win against the New York Jets. Hello, everybody. I'm Justin LaBar alongside Mark Boley and Alan Robinson from the Pittsburgh Tribune Review. Oakland Raiders out in Oakland coming up this Sunday. And, Alan, it's something that you were writing about in the Pittsburgh Trib this week. It's about how the Oakland secondary is brand new, revamped. And, in fact, you don't really know much about them. So we talked to some of the Pittsburgh Steelers wide receivers to see is this an advantage or a disadvantage. De definitely. So I, I say, and then with, by them being way wide guys, they're going to go extra hard trying to prove something. So you got to be ready. Uh, right now, it's a guessing game. We can't go in. Uh, we can't go in and watch film on a particular guy and, and how he plays the, the position. Uh, right now, we can only work off their scheme and then their zones and things of that sort. Uh, but you know, we're working extremely hard to, uh, you know, understand who's going to be playing over there and what they're going to be playing. So, uh, when the game time comes, we can play as fast as we can. Well, at, at the corner position specifically, we. You know, we really don't have an idea. I think Shante Spencer is out now. Right. You know, they've been working out guys. Um, Only four of them yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, I think the one thing we, we're keeping in mind is that, you know, the safety position is pretty good. You know, so whoever they bring in, they'll be able to communicate with those guys and uh, get them in the right position, you know, and, and uh, to, to, to try to make plays, you know. So uh, we know they're very good up front, you know, but uh, we – we have to uh, lock in on the details of this offense and, and just make make the plays when we have the opportunities. So they're here. Why, I, I, Alan? I think you and I maybe and we interpret the same thing. You know, the receivers have some confidence. They do know that this this is not uh, an Amdi Asamoah. This is you know uh, not a, a Darrell Revis. But at the same time, they will acknowledge the fact that that can sometimes be a little bit of a challenge because you don't know what you're really preparing for. Uh, what is your take on the Steelers going up against this secondary? You know, a lot of emphasis has been put on the running game this week because they haven't run the ball very well at all. But, man, if you, if you ever saw an opportunity to pass the ball, you would think it would be this week. Uh, the Raiders second, uh, the Raiders are pretty stable uh, in the, with their two safeties, but their cornerbacks have changed dramatically since the start of the season. Uh, Ron Bartell and Shante Spencer, the former pick cornerback, both started the opener. They're both hurt. They've literally picked up four guys on waivers since, tra since the end of training camp. They just signed a, they just signed a cornerback off the uh, Prackers, uh, practice squad. Literally, their secondary is changing by the hour. And I was even like running down some of the names of some of these guys to the Steelers receivers today. They, they didn't know some of these players. So, I mean, that's, you don't often see that in the National Football League. You know, it's a, it's a small, right. small fraternity. Right. They know each other. But these names are, are, are pretty foreign to some of these guys. Absolutely. Usually everybody's played with everybody at some point or another. Now, Mark, you have an Oakland Raiders team where uh, the last time Pittsburgh went out there, there wasn't a lot of luck with them. And this is a Raiders team who didn't have a great week uh, against – a not very good Miami Dolphins team. Yeah, I know Alan was talking about the passing game. It's a good opportunity for the uh, Ben Roethlisberger and the wide receivers to get on track. But you know what? Reggie Bush ran for 180 yards against that Raiders defense uh, last week. Some big runs, some really splash runs. So it's going to be basically pick and choose what you want to do this week, it seems like, which is surprising because uh, the Raiders have – two stout defensive tackles and Richard Seymour and Tommy Kelly veteran guys are pretty good so it's kind of surprising Reggie Bush was able to do what he did but it looks like the Steelers offense is going to be able to do whatever it chooses to do this week. All right let's see it's time for our predictions as we do every single week. Alan you're one and one. Mark you're two and oh. Alan we'll let you have it. Going into Oakland how do the black and gold do? Well, you know, this has been a black hole for the Steelers. Uh, they lost out here in 2006 to a Raiders team that only won two games. They lost here in 2009 to a 5-11 and Raiders team, knocked them out of the playoffs. Uh, but they, they they got the job done when they played them then in 2010. I think they beat them 35-3. to I, it, uh, Oakland has never been a, a good place for the Steelers, but I think they're going to win this week. I think it's going to be somewhere around the neighborhood of 28-10. to All right, 28-10. Pittsburgh, Mark? Same prediction. I am uh, harboring my inner clubber lang. Pain. 31-10 Steelers. I can't see the Raiders even scoring 10, but I'm just being nice. Just being nice. Well, there you go. Well, be nice. Check them out on Twitter. Follow them uh, on Twitter. You see the uh, handles right there on your screen. And, of course, read the Pittsburgh Tribune Review, hard copy, or triblive.com. As always, these guys will be bringing you up to speed all week long leading up and after the game of what uh, should be interesting for Steelers fans and maybe educational in the, in the case of the Raiders defense. For Allen Robinson, Mark Caboli, I'm Justin Labar. At a newsstand near you.